Dear colleagues and friends, it is mind-blowing what's going on in the last two months. Everyone are talking about artificial intelligence, Chat GPT. Chat GPT. Chat GPT. We won and billions of dollars of funding from all the big players. Chat GPT. The Chat GPT. GPT. So I'm going to test it. Wow. Google search definitely is better right now. God. Can it pass the psychodrama certification questions? This is definitely a competitor for our course. I thought it will be just something stupid. Teachers in school are alerting their students not to use it. We already heard that it can pass the exam in the school. Pass the job interview for 2000k per year salary. Write the whole book in one day. Write songs. Create 3D animation. Write IT codes. My concern is when it is going to replace fully me professionally. What? So I'm going to test it today. What I'm going to test it first, for ability to virtual assist me and you as a researcher on professional certification, scheduling and planning, marketing, ability to replace therapist or counselor include psychodramatists. So I will do specific tasks as for psychodramatists. I had this idea for a long time to create my own app where I can do the doubling because I understand this is very easy way to write the code, you know, to double people correctly. So I'm thinking about, am I too late? Can this artificial intelligence do it or not? Also, I'll check it for role reversal and see what else I can check it for. I mean doubling and role reversal for individual use. Video applicable, of course, as usually for psychodramatists, mental health professionals, educators, coaches, and of course, everyone who have private practice. And for everyone who will stay to the end, I will show you my view from the balcony. And then by your comments, I'll see who is my true friend. Okay, let's go. First, you need to create your free account. I already did. At the beginning, I decided to make like professional search of people who are in our industry. And at this moment, I am going to search for Karen Carnabucci, who is our trainer. We recorded the course with her. Karen Carnabucci, action, explorations, education. Wow. Okay. Based on keywords you provided, it appears that Karen Carnabucci is a practitioner and educator who specializes in action explorations education. Action explorations is an experiential and action-oriented, okay, in training programs in action explorations. Okay, it's a little mixing action explorations as a method and action explorations as our company, action explorations education. I think it does give a general information, but it doesn't have details like you can use Google search. Okay, let's do who is Mario Cosa. Who is Mario Cosa? He's our trainer also. He's fantastic. Okay, it got it. See, it gets main information about Mario Cosa. Okay, who is Linda Seatola, she is our trainer too. Does courses for action explorations education. Okay, who is Linda Seatola? Let's see. Waiting. I'm sorry, but I do not have any information on Linda Seatola. Okay, and I think if I would provide more information, it might find her. So my conclusion on this, you might test it. The Google search definitely is better right now on this. How to get certified in psychodrama in the US. Wow. Okay. What I see, it almost, it definitely gives you main. I would not right now read the details just to not have like four hours testing here, but it definitely mentioned ABA, American Board of Examiners. It knows what psychodrama is, who is psychodramatist, what needs to be done to accumulate and a complete training program. It definitely has the access for requirements, ABA requirements. That's fantastic. Okay, great virtual assistant. So everyone, I just wanted to share with you that our courses on action explorations education recently, we received the approval from ABE that our all our courses taken by you 
can be applied towards psychodrama certification in America, also even in Europe. Please check all the detailed information on each course and on CEUs on each course on action and explorations education. We are in industry for six years. We started our production services for just video production for professionals in our industry and plus online video course production. I know the full cycle, so we will do perfect course for you. And right now, since we are just started, we are doing it for very low prices. Come to us. <laughs> Let's work together. I would like to test it for can it pass the psychodrama certification questions. So it is for written exam. I know probably people from uh, AB won't like it, me doing that. At the same moment, we all understand that uh, everybody ha have the access right now to artificial intelligence. Let's see what it can and what it cannot. In parallel, I understand this is the competitor for our course, which we recorded with Dr. Scott Giacomucci on psychodrama exam prep. It's full course. Let's see if it is competing with this course or not. I'll go to ABE website and find the question for psychodrama exam and try at least one question. Okay, I got the questions, so I'll try a couple of them. So this is from psychodramacertification.org. History. Identify and discuss three historical events which led the creation of psychodrama. Okay, I see... I am not sure three historical events which led the, to creation of psychodrama. World War I, the theater of spontaneity, and Harlem Valley State Hospital. Where Moreno, I think these all three questions match. Okay, what guys do you think? Please let me know. Okay, I'll try just one another one. This is mind-blowing. I'm like, okay, this is definitely a competitor for our course. It's applicable. God. <laughs> Discuss an ethical dilemma specific to psychodrama and describe a possible resolution. The question from Ethics of 1998. Okay, and let's see. Generate the answer. One ethical dilemma specific to psychodrama is an issue on, on informed consent. In psychodrama, participants are often asked to act out scenes from their own lives. Well, it's definitely, I cannot right now evaluate it as, of course, as a, from the perspective of the person who would be taking this exam, but it is definitely a full answer here, which is, looks quite, it can have some corrections. People who were taking the exam, who is going to take right now, could you please let me know what do you think about this answer? So my conclusion right now, of course, I'm doing it shortly. I do not want to spend it a lot of time reading right now. So I'm doing it with you. My observation definitely for first question, I feel like it is at least 50% of question answer is correct. At least, uh, maybe it's the full answer because there are three events and it's ex exactly what uh, need to be there. About the second question, I see that it is definitely does provide quite detailed answer. I just am not sure that it is exactly on the topic. Recently, I was not rechecking on that exam prep, so I do not know exactly. But I see that there is quite a logical answer. I would just recheck it. I cannot say anything, but it's mind-blowing. I thought it will be just something stupid or completely stupid, but I can see at least this is something what can be worked on. It's definitely already, I think it's psychodrama certification. That's fantastic. So conclusion, for now I did the research on virtual assistants as searching for people. At this moment, just Google search works much better, though this search works. As about how to get certified in psychodrama, completely it leads to correct places where to find all the answers. It actually tells almost everything on psychodrama certification, accepted, 
I would say 90% the answer is correct. On psychodrama certification, it's mind blowing because it does have the answers. I would just clarify and just check while preparing for the exam. I would check it out and get more clarity. And But it definitely has good ideas to check at least. And it definitely, I would not count on it. <laughs> that is just, just copy paste for the exam. But definitely it is a material to work with. I promise that I'm going to share with you the view from my balcony. And yeah, yeah, I'm going to do it right now. This is Double Tree by Hilton Hotel. And this is my view. And this is the ocean. Could you please share in the comments if you already worked with ChatGPT, what is your experience? Specifically, I'm interested on psychodrama, on psychodrama knowledge, on your academic work in school. Please share. Thank you everyone for watching and see you in the next video. Namaste.